Hey everybody, this is Sheila. Welcome back to the channel. Today what I'd like to show you to do is how to crochet this very pretty lacy hand towel. Uh, this is done using Cotlin from We Crochet, but you can use other brands of cotton. The full measurement for this guy is 12 inches across and it is 25 inches long, including the lacy border. However, you can adjust the length of this and the width um, if you want to just make a, a washcloth, but I thought you guys would like to know how to do this. It came out well. If you're interested, grab your supplies and let's get going. To complete this project, you'll need roughly 275 yards of a cotton product. What I'm going to use is Cotlin, and this is from We Crochet. It's a DK weight, it's 123 yards, so I'm going to use two balls. And the reason I'm going to use this is because this is as you can see, 70% tangan cotton and 30% linen. That linen composite in there gives this extra absorbency to be used in the bathroom. And also, the more that you use linen, the softer and more pliable this com becomes. This is already very soft, and, but it has become more so uh, as upon use. The other cotton I'm going to use is 250. I'm going to use for my border. I am going to use peaches and cream in the color white. I'm um, sorry, this cotton here is in the color of surf. In addition to the yarn that you will need, we will also be using a size H hook in whatever brand, whether it's going to be a clover, Hobby Lobby, tulip, whatever it's going to be, a pair of scissors. And then you'll also need a darning needle to weave in the ends. Grab your supplies and let's get going. We're going to start with the body of the hand towel. So grab that yarn, create a slip knot, and chain 41. 39, 40, and 41. And in the second chain from the hook, not the first one, the second one here, put in a single crochet. Yarn over, pull through, and in that same space, the one you just put in the single crochet, put in a double crochet. Skip one chain, skip the next chain, and the next chain after that, put in a single crochet. and a double crochet into that same stitch. Skip a chain and repeat that process again. Single crochet and then a double crochet and do that all the way down to the end. When you get close to the end you'll have three stitches remaining. You're still going to do the same process and then skip the stitch, do a single crochet and then a double crochet. And then what you want to do, got my little string there in the way, in the final stitch of the row, put a single crochet. Don't forget that one last stitch down there. And once you have that complete, chain one and turn. From here, let's get that string out of the way. From here, what we're going to do is right in that very first stitch right there, you're going to do your single crochet, yarn over, and do a double crochet. And we're going to continue the process. We're going to skip a stitch. And in this case, you're going to be able to see easily what we need to skip. The double crochet stitch is going to be the one that's bigger. The single crochet is going to be that smaller stitch, and that's the one that we want to go into. So you're skipping the bigger one, going into the smaller single crochet stitch, doing your single crochet, and then a double crochet. And you are going to do that all the way across. And in fact, that's your process for this whole body of this washcloth, hand towel, whatever you decide you're going to make. Uh, you want to complete roughly about 60 rows or until all of your yarn is gone, both skeins of your yarn. 
and then when you get done with that come on back and we will work the border all right i just finished the body of my piece and it measures 12 inches by 19 inches and I just have a little bit of yarn left over so if you're going to go with the same color we're ready to start the border or if you're going to change colors like I am I have moved on to my white so when you add in chain one and you're going to turn and so right in that very first stitch you're going to go ahead and put in a single crochet and then in the next stitch and in every stitch across you're going to put in a single crochet so a single crochet in each double crochet and a single crochet in each single crochet and at the end of the row you will have 40 stitches 39 and 40 and at the end of the row chain one and turn and for this row this is the second row of a three row border and so for this row what we're going to do is flip it up and look at it and we are going to do a back loop single crochet in that very first stitch so not the front but the back right here go in and do a single crochet and then do back loop single crochet all the way across the row all right and don't forget to do the back loop single crochet in the last stitch of the row and when you finish with that we're going to chain up two and turn your work and then from here we're going to start our third and final row for the border and of course when you finish on this end you want to go on the other end and put the border down there as well okay so we've chained up two and now we're going to yarn over twice two times and we're going to skip the first two stitches here or the first two because we're counting this one one two and in this third stitch here this is counting two three we're going to do a treble so we're going to go in pull up four on the hook pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through to a final time yarn over twice and put another treble right back into that same space pull through pull through and pull through it'll look like that on top of the second treble we're going to put a pico so to do that we're going to chain up three one two three and then in the first stitch that you just created this first chain go in yarn over pull through and slip stitch you are going to want to tighten this down or tighten this down or otherwise it just won't look nice <laughs> okay so we have two trebles a pico now to finish the other side of this we're going to put in two more trebles in that same space so yarn over two times then pull through three times one two pull through it's going to get kind of tight in there and that's okay all right and when you're finished that's what it'll look like at the end of this little lazy job here chain two coming back down here we're going to skip the next two spaces we have this one taken up there's one there's two and in that third space you're going to put a single crochet and in the next space right after that put in another single crochet And that's what it will look like okay from there we're going to chain two skip two and then repeat the the process so the space is used skip two yarn over twice and in the third chain we're going to go in do our treble 
to our sink it treble. On top of that sink it treble, we're going to make our pico chain up three. One, two, three. Go in at the bottom, slip stitch it, pull it tight, treble. One, two, three. Two, three, and that completes that one. Chain two, skip two, one, two, single crochet in the next two. And that will be your process going across. And you'll see that they kind of stand up like that. All right. I've done most of the way across and that is what it's looking like. I have one, two, three, four, five. I just finished my two uh, single crochet. I've chained up two and I'm going to finish my last motif over here. So I'm going to do my treble. One. And a second treble. And the pico. When you guys did the pico, did you tighten down on your pico? I hope so, because you probably found out right away that if you didn't tighten down on your pico, it kind of looks mm, not so great, right? Okay, so here's my second, my other side. And don't forget, after you get done here, you need to go on the other end and complete the same process. Just come back to the video. All right, and that's done. That leaves me three stitches at the end. I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going to put in the final stitch of the row, I'm going to put a double crochet. And that completes that row. And that's what it looks like. So those peak go stand up. All right, y'all. So that's what I wanted to show you today. And if you have any questions or comments or concerns about the pattern or want to ask me any questions about it, put it in the comments below. Have a fantastic day. Bye.